Hi, this is Chris from the EQMod project. In this video, I'm just going to show you how the ASCOM trace works. To use the ASCOM trace, you simply click on the ASCOM logo and up pops a form where you can see all the messages that are being received by the driver from the clients that are connected to it. In this case, we've only got the one client, which is the planetarium, and it's regularly asking for connection information, coordinate information, and also checking on the type of uh, mount that's connected. We can filter this information to home in on particular types of messages. So if, for instance, we turn off the connection and, in this case, the other uh, box, what we'll see is only the poles for the current position of the scope. Um, if I turn that off, then obviously we will have nothing being received. But if I trigger a go to in the planet home, and then have a look back at the trace, we can see the request that initiated that slew. First of all, it asked, is the tracking on? Yes, it was. Can the driver slew us asynchronously and then it sent out a command to say move to these particular coordinates. There is an option to log this data to file as well as to screen um, and this can be useful if we're trying to debug a particular problem that requires us to see the sequence of events that have happened. Um, and that's really all there is to say about it. It's just a useful tool. If you think there's a problem at the ASCOM level, perhaps you are not sure whether your client, your planetarium, or your guiding application is communicating successfully to the driver, um, then this is a, a handy first step just to verify that messages are being received.